Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's Pick a Card video. The Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to discuss why you're having difficulty forgiving yourself or forgiving others. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings, I would like for you to participate in a brief meditation by taking in a deep breath to the count of nine, holding it to the count of nine, and releasing it to the count of nine. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. The time stamps for each butterfly color are listed below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the yellow butterfly, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about this hand on why you're having difficulty forgiving yourself or forgiving others. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is listen to your heart so it's so funny the reason I smiled is because I'm doing a reading about forgiveness and the heart chakra has to do with our ability to forgive ourselves and to forgive others and Jungle Beauty Goddess it represents the heart chakra so the first card I'm pulling for you is asking you to listen to your heart and I'm just gonna look at the other cards to see what is surrounding your ability to forgive yourself or forgive others. The next card I have for you is from Jung is from the Jungle Beauty Goddess's father, the Matter, who represents divine masculine energy, creator of the universe. And his message to you is, you are all powerful. The next card I have for you is from the father again, the Matter, and his message to you is, he says, get it done. Wow. So, my goodness. There's something you need to do. And you need to do it now. And only you have the power to bring about that change in your life. And let me look at the last card and then I'm going to see what all what comes to me. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Charby who represents our third chakra, which has to do with our self-mastery, our self-esteem, our self-worth is located two inches above your navel. Oh my goodness. She says, be brave, don't look back. I've never seen a clearer hand in my life that says, let it go. The universe is telling you that only you have the power to forgive yourself and to forgive others and that when it says be brave and don't look back and listen to your heart listen what is your heart telling you to do right now is your heart telling you oh I, I really want to hang on to what happened you know three years ago two years ago whether you are in a position where you want to forgive be forgiven or if you want to forgive others the universe is telling you that you have to let it go and don't look back like listen like how is this serving you how is it making your life better to hang on to not forgiving someone 
I think a lot of times when people don't forgive other people, they think that if I don't forgive them, then I can prevent it from happening to me again. If I don't forgive them, then I'm on the lookout. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I don't forgive them, for some reason they're going to suffer. But the truth is, when you don't forgive people, you suffer. You're the only person who suffers when you don't forgive. And even if someone doesn't forgive you, then you should still let it go because there's nothing you can do. Now, I'm going to probably say this in every single video. Um, pick a card for this. When you're having difficulty either with someone forgiving you or if you're trying to forgive someone, I would like for you to say the Hono Ono Ponono. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm probably not saying it correctly. But basically, it's when you say, I love you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Please forgive me. It doesn't matter who is right or who is wrong. But it's, it kind of brings in universal grace to the situation. And it, it just eases the karmic debt. It eases the emotions. So whoever this person is, that either you want to forgive or you want to be forgiven, by just say Becky I love you I'm sorry thank you please forgive me and just out you know for me what has worked for me personally is just say it like three days in a row every time you think of that person make it a point to say it all day and you will see that there will be a shift in energy so basically you know my cars are just really not being nice so who's ever watching this, when I say not being nice, your message is so firm. It's not a cuddly message. Your your first your card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kahala, Kalahari that says, you know, listen to your heart. She's saying that when you listen to your heart, you know, what is your heart telling you this is the, your highest and best self? Is this all you got to give? Is this your most magnanimous self? Like when you listen to your heart, is your heart, you know, telling you that this is, you know, really who you are to hold on to, um, reg you know, past anger, past regret? Um, are you the type of person to hang on to like negativity? I don't, I don't think this is who you are. And the reason I don't think it's who you are because your cards, the hand that I pull for you is, is like you know how sometimes when you're talking to like a new soul or a small child you're just really nice and you're really sweet and you say well honey you know next time the cards are not telling you that it's the card says to you look you are all powerful this means that this playing victim they're not the universe is not going to take it from you they think that this is beneath you to hold on to old grudges and then it's telling you to get it done now okay like whoever is watching this whoever this message is for cha your angels your spirit guides they're just done with you playing victim they're done with you holding on the grudges they just they're just they don't want this for you they want you to let this go and then you have the card that says be brave and don't look back i really i don't know i can't beat a dead horse the hand is saying to you that the only person can change the, can, you know, bring about forgiveness is you. There's not going to be a magic pill. There's not going to be, um, you know, some guru is going to come and just put you under hypnosis and take the forgive, you know, make you forgive or you understand what I'm saying? The universe is saying that you have the power to change the situation and to let it go. And then when you hold this, you know, energy of, regret and you know feeling down it doesn't help like you think like sometimes humans feel like well if I hang on to this hurt this anger this resentment uh, not trusting that things are gonna get better no things are not gonna get better if you don't forgive okay things don't get better it's not gonna there's not a magic pill the universe is telling you to let it go and forget about it and I think people think when I forget about something is it gonna happen again no it's not gonna happen again you learned your lesson so I'm just going to give you an exercise to do besides the Hono Ono Panono. I like for you to sincerely write, you know, I'm into this, either way for a, um, a full moon or some people do like an empty, uh, a new moon. Like I don't really, I like, for some reason I like a good full moon. You're going to write a letter to that person and you're going to tell them how you feel and you're going to let it go because you want to heal for you 
All right, you're gonna if a person if you need to be forgiven if you hurt somebody say hey you know um, I'm really sorry apologize with every piece of your soul say but I'm letting this go I'm sending you love I'm sending you light and I'm and from this point forward I'm gonna let it be you take that note and you bury it in the ground find a tree but first ask for permission I usually go for like big huge trees because you know my problems are humongous child but find a really big tree like walk through a park and just ask mentally ask for permission write your letter and ask for forgiveness and while you're doing this one thing I have truly found is while why you are not forgiving somebody trust and believe there's somebody who needs to forgive you if you are a forgiving spirit you'll find that people forgive you as well so while you're you know pointing fingers like this person did that to me and this person did this to me from my years I'll say it looks like I look good 25 years of working with people people are really good at pointing out what other people have done to them but they rarely look within their own hearts and think about what they have done to other people do you understand what I'm saying so I'm telling you when you do these exercises you need to say hey you know I'm sorry for the time I you know told you know John Johnny's secret I'm sorry for the times that I have you know been rude or disrespectful I, you know I'm gonna forgive myself so that I can grow see if you don't forgive yourself you can't grow you can't evolve because you're holding on to the on the energy of the mistake and when you hold on to the energy of something it becomes a pattern yeah does that make sense it becomes a psychological pattern that you create so that you can continue to attract people that you don't have to forgive or when I mean not don't have to but you'll keep attracting people who need forgiveness you'll keep attracting situations where you need to be forgiven because you have created an energy of non-forgiveness around you does that make sense what I'm saying now if you're watching this video and you've selected the yellow butterfly the universe is saying that you are an evolved being you're very wise and you know better you're not a new soul you are they want you to step it up step you know step into your higher self they know that you know better so yeah it says for you to get it done right now I really hope this video helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video hello darling if you selected the blue butterfly this reading is for you first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand the first card I have for you is from jungle beauty goddess Sinai who represents our second chakra our ability to feel joy and happiness she says no regrets ever We're talking about forgiveness and the first card you have is from jungle beauty goddess Sinai and she says no regrets ever Charles, I feel like I don't need to go on with this you know what I'm saying I, don't, I feel like we're done but let me just see what the other cards have to say because that is the most powerful message you could ever receive about being forgiven or needing to forgive someone you know the next card I have for you is from jungle beauty goddess Katara and she says your destiny is what you decide to do so I'm getting the feeling that sometimes we think when something happens to us that it deters our destiny like we think oh well if my husband hadn't cheated on me then I could you know trust men and then I would be able to get married oh if you know such and such hadn't stabbed me in my back then I would have friends and this card is saying to you that your destiny has not been determined by the negative things that have happened to you that you can decide to forgive and once you decide to forgive you can trust men you just can trust that man but you know what 
let me just say this. Now, when I look at the cards in terms of forgiving, I feel that if you're having difficulty forgiving, it's because you are looking at a situation from your, not from your higher self, okay? Because if you look at it from your higher self, you, you see that there's a reason for everything. There's a reason for all of the hurts. I mean, you know, sometimes the person you're dating is getting you ready for your real husband. But the person you're, you know, you're going to know how to treat this person. Or maybe um, you get fired from a job, but you really didn't get fired. You were just, the universe said, okay, our lessons are, we're done here. So if you're, if you're worried about, oh, I made a mistake, I'm just a horrible person, or I don't know if I can forgive another person, it's because you're, all, you're looking at it like one little piece of a huge puzzle of your life. You understand what I'm saying? So don't let any one situation shape or, you know, the rest of your life. Don't let one situation make you never trust or never love or don't, don't do that look for the lesson look look for the bigger picture in it the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess kalahari and jungle beauty goddess kalahari's message to you is never apologize for loving with all your heart oh god i love your hand i'm gonna tell you what's popping in my head about this hand when she says never apologize for loving with all your heart, what comes to my mind is you love somebody and they let you down. You know what I'm saying? You trusted somebody, you gave them your all, and they let you down. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents our heart chakra, is telling you, girl, never apologize for loving with all your heart. You should feel good about the love you shared the fact that you were honest the fact that you were true the fact that you are a good person and you know can i say something really super weird you know what i'm learning is that a lot of times when you when somebody cheat on you you may have cheated on them in a prior life Seriously, I knew somebody once who they were in a situation where their boyfriend cheated on them continuously. And when it was time for the relationship to end, they packed up his things in such in the most beautiful and loving way I'd ever seen in my life. And I was like, girl, I would be throwing his things. I would, you know, let's 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 start a bonfire, you know what I'm saying? And they were like, no, I don't want him to ever have a reason to call me again. I'm not angry. And it was just the most, I had never seen anybody pack things so meticulously and so beautifully and so mournfully. And they just gave them their things back with such grace. And they blocked them from their phone. <laughs> and they never were allowed, they never want to talk about it again. And they said, I 100% forgive this person. And within like six months, they were married with a new husband with the person of the love of their life. And this is a true story. So what I was thinking about in this particular case that I'm telling you about is that when I look at the situation, like, I don't know, for some reason, when I see people, I see versions of themselves, you know, like variety of versions. And in my spirit, my soul has just told me that, you know, in a prior lifetime, she cheated on him. And that in this lifetime, they were tying up the karma. They had been together for like seven years. It's like they broke up seven years to the day. Seven, seven represents the number for completion. The fact that this person, that she was able to forgive, her heart was open for new love. It's like she paid her debt. So if you kind of look at relationships in a bigger, you know, like in a more spiritual um, thinking that this is not just my only incarnation this is a part of my journey you'll be able to let go and you'll be able to forgive yourself as well so you might be thinking well what if I you know, need somebody to forgive me well it could be the same situation 
it could be a new situation but the point is I'll, I'm just going to say this repeatedly forgiving is not saying I'm going to be naive I'm not I'm not going to I'm going to just take anything that someone does no it doesn't mean that at all what it means is that you are free and I am free I hold nothing against you it doesn't mean I want to go have dinner with you or be with you or it doesn't mean I'm not angry with you but you, it's almost like you come back to neutral you come back to a state of a spiritual state of you know we're just not going we're good do you, do you understand what I'm saying like it's like we're good I'm gonna you're free I, I wish you the best but we were good. I, I wish you nothing but love. And the love that you wish for that person is the love that's going to come back to you tenfold. So I have one more card for you. The next card I have for you, again, is for Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, representing the heart chakra, coming in strong. And she said, oh, she says, unrequited love is self-betrayal. So, but, oh my God. Whoever selected this hand, child, somebody did you dirty, didn't they? They did you dirty. Mm -hmm. But guess what? When you love somebody who doesn't love you back the way that you love them, you're hurt. That's self betrayal. Like, if I have one thing, one thing that I want you to pick up from this video, from the one person who's watching this video, is that people are going to love you to the same degree that you love yourself you understand what I'm saying so if you can't forgive yourself then you're gonna have this energy around you where there are people who you're gonna create situations where you can't be forgiven if you don't forgive other people you're gonna keep creating situations where you need to forgive because the pattern that you hold the psychological pattern the energetic field around you is attracting the type of people to you that is what your brain is telling you I want to experience so I'm asking you to let it go but I also I don't I actually I have so many gemstones so I can't even dig down here and find my strawberry quartz gemstone but I do have my strawberry quartz gemstone um, skull this is a beautiful beautiful this stone is a good stone gemstone for forgiving yourself um, for having other people forgive you you hold this stone and you say every night before you go to bed I forgive everyone and everything who can possibly need forgiveness I forgive everybody say that every day and everybody forgive me okay and then another good gemstone for you is rose quartz and I also yeah, oops my camera child I have one more stone ah Rhodonite. This is another really good gemstone. When you're working on forgiveness and healing your heart chakra. Okay? So I'm going to suggest also one, I want you looking at it from a higher step, from your higher self, right? That, you know, what lessons did I learn? Like, what you have wanted, don't, aren't you happy that you gave your all? But aren't you, but you don't need to, to love some, anyone who doesn't love you back. But just don't no regrets your hand oh my god your hand is saying look you gave with all your heart right let me just put your cards in order it says never apologize for loving with all your heart you didn't do anything thing wrong because you love that person right you, there's an unrequited love is self portrayal you love them they don't love you but okay that's cool you have no regrets ever so don't feel like oh I wish I never met this person I wish you know don't think that way because if you had never met that person then you wouldn't be the person that you are today but the thing is you don't want to hold your energy right there, right there and then you have a card that says your destiny is what you decide to do so the cards are in your hand be grateful for the experiences you've had, but let the pain go, right? Heal your heart. Get you some strawberry quartz, some rhodonite, some rose, um, some rose quartz. Another good thing you can do is, you know, I always ask for a healing. You know, um, 
imagine a beautiful, if it's a white light, I like, to, I don't know, for some reason I like a, a beautiful shimmery white light to come and ask it to heal your heart, ask it to release, write a letter to that person, say all of the good things, say what, you know, the bad things that happened, you know, let it say, hey, if I had never met you, then I wouldn't have known about strawberry ice cream, whatever. And cry your little heart out, child. Go to a park, ask a tree for permission to bury that note in the ground and let it go. But, um, and write a good, you know, write a good poem, child. Write a good, write a good story. I, I feel like some of the greatest works in human history has come from somebody having um, their heart broken. You know what I mean? Like, it's ha it happened for a reason. And it's not a small reason, and it's not that they're bad and you're bad. Don't think that way. That's that's how small people think, you know? You're a magnanimous being. You're a multi-dimensional being. You are mighty and powerful. You Let this go. Let this go and find the beauty in it. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the pink butterfly, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand on why you're having difficulty forgiving yourself or others. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire who represents our third eye our higher self, our ability to use our imagination. Aww. She says, no one can be a better you than you. So that's telling me right now, child. You don't have to hold on to... Let me say this. What pops in my mind is a woman who has lost her husband or her boyfriend to another person. And you look at that other person and you say, dang, maybe if I you know, was more attractive, maybe if I was smarter, maybe if I was skinnier, maybe if I could cook better, maybe then he, this wouldn't have happened. Maybe even on your job, like whatever the situation is, it's like you think that if I could be like somebody else, then that wouldn't have happened. But this card is saying, look darling, you might as well forgive and, for, and just let it go because you are the bomb diggity.com there is nobody like you okay there is what does it say no one can be a better you than you you don't need to be anybody else but I do I'm going to ask you that whatever is in your heart to look for the lesson okay um, I've had some difficult things happen to me and I remember thinking if only if I was you know what if I was white or what if I was you know things will be different you know what I'm saying but no that's not the way God made me and so when we hold on to um, not forgiving and resentment and anger we erode our self-esteem you know what I'm saying so we're gonna keep talking about some more I want to look at your other cards the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby says to watch your back. You know, what I'm picking up from this particular card about watching your back, what it's saying that I don't think it's somebody is, you know, it depends on the energy that I pick up when I pick the card. But I think that you need to look out for yourself you know make better decisions in the future like don't always think that sometimes you're a victim because somebody you know did something to you to a certain degree you owe your yourself a certain amount of um, what's the word I'm looking for but looking out but looking out for yourself so let me, the best way I can describe is what popped in my head is like sometimes people feel like well I should be able to drive my Mercedes Benz in the worst neighborhood you know in the world and they feel like well it's because it's my right well you know technically child it is your right 
but are you making good decisions? If you go to a club, do you leave your drink out? Do you um, see red flags in a relationship and then you find out two years later the guy's married? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like what is what is coming to me into and um, intuitively is that you is I'm just gonna call it you have a tendency to be hurt by other people, but you have not taken responsibility and accountability for your own well-being, your own safety. You see red flags and you ignore them. And the universe is saying to you, darling, please do not ignore the red flags. You have to watch your own back. And I really hope that message helps and is not offensive. The next card I have for you, oh my God, I don't believe this hand. The next card I have from you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby again, who represents our third chakra. And she says, protect yourself. Oh my God. Listen, if you selected this pink butterfly and you are watching this video, y'all, please, I'm asking you to protect yourself. I, I put down some prayers before, before shuffling the deck. You hear me? And I, I ask for a message that will help somebody. And I'm asking you that if you have selected this hand to protect yourself, you have two cards. This is your third chakra. Watch your back, protect yourself. I don't think these two cards have ever, ever come up in the same. Oh, there's only four cards. There's about a good 178 cards in my deck, if not more. You listen. Stop looking to other people to protect you. What this means is, if you're going on a date, I know this might sound a little old fashioned, don't go to his house. You don't go to his house, you drive your own car, right? You don't go to his dorm room. You don't leave your drinks out. You need to take accountability and responsibility for your own physical and psychological safety. If somebody call you out your name or use derogatory language, you cut it. That's it. Out. Nobody talk to me like that. You understand? You need to set some strong boundaries. You need to stop being trusting. When people, do, I think Maya Angelou said, when people tell you who they are, believe them. When you find out that somebody has not been a true friend to you, cut it. Like, you don't even have to, you don't need a speech. This is not basketball wives and you know, we watch a lot. Of, I know I watch a lot of garbage TV, but you don't. You don't have to do any of that. Just oh, I'm busy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get your. Just don't pick up the phone. Stop playing victim. When I say playing victim, this means you. You know, you've been super nice. I don't know why this person would do this to me. I've been nothing but nice to them. Why are you being nice to them? Why are you hanging out with people who have already shown you red flags that they cannot be trusted, that they do not have your best interests at heart? Again, no door, when you don't know a guy, don't put yourself in situations where you're, um, where you can be compromised. Does that make sense? Just when you meet a friend, you don't need to divulge all of your personal business. They haven't earned your trust yet. There's no need for them to know everything about you. The, this hand is strongly telling you to take a look at yourself and protect yourself. You're, you know, the, don't expect other people to have your best interest at heart. And then you don't trust the world. But the, the, what I'm getting from the universe, what I'm getting from your angels, the strong message is that you need to toughen up. You need to grow up. You need to believe in yourself, and you need to cut people out of your life immediately who do not have your best interest at heart. And not put yourself in compromising situations. Woo, I've never got a message this strong, child. Sorry, I hope I'm not starting preachy. And then the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, which says, oh, I get this. It says love without expectations. Oh, so what I'm picking up from this, this car for you is that when we say love without expectations when you do something for somebody don't expect anything back like you know don't think well okay well I made dinner for you now it's your turn to make dinner for me and now that you if you have these tit for tat relationships 
you're going to always end up not trusting them. You know, it's like if you see the world and you're keeping this balance sheet in your head, you're going to, you're going to, you probably got a lot of people you can't stand. You're thinking like, well, last time I did this for you, what are you going to do for me? You know, so it's like protect yourself. If you're nice to somebody, just be nice because you're, you know, just because you're a good person. But don't put yourself in these uncompromising positions. So what I mean is, he took you off for dinner. And this is what's popping in my head, and I trust this. He took you off for dinner. Now you want to take, bring him to your house to make dinner for him. Um, you probably don't need to be bringing because you got two cars telling you to protect yourself. No, it doesn't have to be tough for time. He took you out for dinner. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But you don't have to. There, you don't need these tip for t- you know. You took me out now. Let me make dinner for you. You took me out now. Let me, you know, show you now how I appreciate. No, I'm not gonna be doing any of that. Okay, protect yourself. Look out for yourself. A lot of the forgiveness that you have to do is uh, the universe is asking you to for- to not just forgive others but forgive yourself for being so naive and accommodating and loving and kind of like just thinking the world is just this like they want you to get tougher like they want you to be stronger they want you to stand up for yourself they want you to look off for red flags they want you to cut people out your life who are not good for you that is the strongest message i have for you i really hope this reading helps someone Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the purple lavender butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards, and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about this hand. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents our mind, our throat chakra, our communication, ability to speak the truth, know the truth, hear the truth. She says, knowledge is power. I'm getting the feeling that <clears throat> there's something more to the story. Okay. Don't know what the story is. I just feel like if you're struggling with forgiving, or being forgiving there's a, there's something you need to know there's like sometimes we don't there's an, another person there's a secret there um, yeah the truth the truth is not there she represents the mind she represents our ability to communicate but what I'm picking up is that whatever is going on a chunk of the information is not there so to loosen your you know t- I would say you want to forgive but keep your heart open for the rest of the story the next card I have for you oh my god we're pulling in Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara again and her message to you is oh woo the answer is in the questions man what is going on hmm so you're having difficulty forgiving. You don't have the whole truth. You don't have the whole truth, y'all. I'm going to tell you what's in my heart. This, when I tell a story, it doesn't mean that this happened or just this way. But what I'm kind of picking up is that maybe it's like, say somebody cheated on you, right? And you couldn't forgive that person for cheating on you but what you don't know is that it was a setup is that this girl you know maybe somebody who was always jealous of you or who was attracted to him and she was bringing him donuts to work and telling you understand what i'm saying he was set up like sometimes people don't know this but we're all just human where we are child we are flesh and blood and we make mistakes because we have the obstacles have been set up in such a way that we didn't even know we were under attack. You know what I mean? We didn't even, child, we didn't even see it coming. And that is what I'm picking up from this hand. Like, whatever is going on, 
there is more to this story. The next, oh Jesus, I got Sahara again. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And her message to you is, let's see, use your intuition to acquire more information. I love my cards when they like this, y'all. The prayer I put down before this reading. Listen, whatever you're having difficulty forgiving yourself or forgiving others, child, let me tell you, you don't have the whole story. You don't have the whole truth. Mm, 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 mm. I got one more card for you. It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire's message to you, it says, use your imagination. She represents our third eye. <gasps> Listen. First and foremost, I'm going to tell you, please, 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 please forgive. Just forgive that person. Forgive yourself. Forgive all parties involved. This was a setup. This was a setup. There are some pieces missing. There is some information that you don't know. You're you're holding a grudge against somebody that you need to really let go because, yeah, they. Mm. And if somebody's holding a grudge against you, it's the same thing. It's information that they don't know. I'm gonna say that. No, I don't think you should. You know, bring it up or go. You know, dig up old you know garbage that type of thing I think you should forgive them you should ask for forgiveness I think you should uh, do the hono ono ponono I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly where you think of that person and you say I love you I'm sorry thank you please forgive me it doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong what it does is that it, it saturates the situation with universal grace from you know just brings in a lot of spiritual energy to loosen up the negative energy surrounding the situation I think you should do that but I really feel that it's some more it's you don't have the whole story I don't care what you think you know or what you think happened there's more to the story and just forgive everybody like even when you find out that say this person was set up or say you you know you know maybe you you know you trusted this person and they um, told you they would never use drugs again and then they went over to their best friend's house and this person knew they were trying to you know stop you know smoking or whatever whatever is going on my spirit is telling me you have a super strong hand that says use user intuition intuition to acquire more information what and it's telling you to use your imagination your third eye like what do you think happened what what do you think is going on what do you you're holding grudges or resentment or you're not forgiving but you really don't even have the true story you don't even have you're holding on to the wrong information that's what your head is saying the answer is in the questions we're talking about your throat chakra the ability to hear the truth speak the truth recognize the truth child you don't have the truth the answers in the questions what questions do you have about the situation like why were you there um, wh why did that person do this I don't know what's going on but you want to ask these questions and then you want to use your imagination to kind of put the pieces together that's like and then it says knowledge is power oh man once you find out what really really happened you're going to be a different person what who's ever watching this video and you selected this particular hand my spirit is telling me to tell you to please let it go to forgive yourself forgive all parties involved you do not have all of the pieces you do not have all of the information for some of you this information will come years later and for some of you the truth is never going to come but it is not worth you being angry about because you're angry about a situation that's not even real like the like you don't you do you understand what i'm saying so please let it go because you're mad about something that's not even the thing that really happened yeah
I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.